Big boy. Oh, ribbon snake. No way. <laughs> Guys, look at the tarantula. Just, you know, not even two minutes onto this trail. And we already got a snake. The weather feels amazing. It's about 65 degrees right now. Oh, he's going. All right, guys, what is going on? I'm at a new spot, uh, kind of similar to the one in our last video. Uh, I found it, you know, very close to home on the side of the road near a neighborhood and has some potential for sure. In fact, I'm almost positive there's snakes here. So I'm curious to see what, if anything, we might be able to find. so good <coughs> man look at all these blue bonnets oh lizard what kind of lizard was that oh that's a big wasp get away buddy get away please do not you look like you can make lots of pain Is. Ah, missed. Oh, oh, oh. He went in there. Where'd he go? Oh, there he is. Shit. Man, he's quick. Oh, gotcha. Oh, he's pretty. It's actually pretty nice. Spiny. Here's a look at this little. Texas spiny lizard I just got a hold of hiding it hiding in this rug. I was chasing it around for a solid two minutes, but we got it. Super common little lizards. But it's a good looking one. He's got some nice orange on his tail there, you can see. That's pretty cool. They don't get the blue bellies, at least that I've seen, quite like fence lizards do in the same genus Scalopers, but I mean they're still pretty cool. Here he goes. Gecko or skink. There he is. Yeah, little little brown skink. There's another one actually. See him? So tiny. Oh, mouse. Man, he's quick. A little deer mouse probably. He even squeaked at me. Oh, little skink. I didn't even see him. There he goes. Oh, pretty green and all. Second green and all today already. It's a beautiful one. Saw a really big jumping spider too, a uh, bold jumping spider, mature male, but couldn't really get him on video well. All right, let's check this. Skink. So good. Big boy. Oh, ribbon snake. No way. Oh, he's so stuck. Started flipping these rocks because it looks just too good to pass up. The weather's perfect. Flip this big one right here. And lo and behold, we have a gorgeous baby western ribbon snake. Some might even call this a red stripe ribbon, Thamnophis proximus rubulineatus. But this area, it's hard to say, they can be pretty, pretty variable. It's a beautiful little ribbon though. They wouldn't be being born yet this year, so this is, has to be about a yearling snake. They would be even smaller, believe it or not. <laughs> oh, I lost them. Oh, hold on. Crap. 
Let's try that again. There it is. <laughs> what a perfect rock to flip in a glass bottle there. All right, buddy. You're slippery, but you're not getting away. What a pretty little ribbon snake. And I did talk about these, I believe, in the last video, actually, when I caught those three adults, the female and the two males. Look at that beautiful orange stripe. But these are semi-aquatic, and we do have a swamp nearby, which is perfect habitat for these because they can hunt little frogs and fish, especially at this young age, right along the water's edge. They're the perfect little aquatic predators. Like water snakes, but not quite as aquatic. Same genus as garter snakes, like the eastern garters that people catch over on the east coast in the Carolinas up to like New York, probably actually even up to Canada, those uh, Eastern Carters. But these are our version of that pretty much here in Texas. It's a good looking snake though. I'm gonna get him back under his rock. The flipping seems good, so we're gonna keep flipping some more rocks and see what else we can get here. Beauty beautiful little dude. All right, got some pictures of this beautiful little yearling. Western Ribbon Snake, we're gonna put him back. There he goes. Oh, a toad. Little Gulf Coast toad, that's cool. Nice. Seems the big rocks are where it's at right now. So they can hide from the heat as it's starting to warm up throughout the day. This is a beautiful little Gulf Coast toad though. Right under this rock. But I'm gonna get him back now. <laughs> Just heard something scurry, probably a little skink. Come on, buddy. There he goes. Little baby mice. Look at that. Oh, <laughs> he dipped right back into his nest. Some kind of deer mice, maybe. Wow! Holy crap! Narrow mouth toad and a ton of striped bark scorpions. Look at all these guys. Wow. That's awesome. Look at this little guy. Chunky. We got another one over here. Just under a tiny little fort. That's sweet. All right, guys. See you later. Got a little Texas spiny lizard right there. First herp on this little trail we're hiking right now. Out here with my buddy Luke, Sarah, and Sophia. Sophia's eating in and out. <laughs> we're gonna see if we can find some snakes though. I got Luke, the best snake catcher. All right, Luke's lifting our first rock of the day. Not too bad, but no life. <laughs> but no. It'll definitely have something soon. Guys, two minutes after lifting that rock and I walk over to this, I'm getting ready to lift it, talking about how good it looks for a snake. And I see a patch nose snake, Texas patch nose, just out basking right here, right next to the rock. Just, you know, not even two minutes onto this trail. And we already got a snake. The weather feels amazing. It's about 65 degrees right now. Oh, he's going. Oh, we got him. We got him. We got him. Beautiful patch nose. I'm way too zoomed in right now. There we go. Gorgeous. Really good looking. It's opaque right now, meaning in blue, because it's about to shed. 
but beautiful chunky patch nose non-venomous colubrids luke you want to hold it uh yeah <laughs> it won't bite you they're chill even if he does it's not gonna not gonna hurt you uh -oh. yeah. That might that might hurt a little bit. <laughs> How's it feel to get pooped on by a snake? Uh, it feels pretty good. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah, could be worse. Oh, Sophia's got a napkin from in and out. What a, I have a little bit Perfect. of burger grease on it. So. <laughs> oh, he just bit me though. Thank you. Oh, I pooped on you too. Oh shit! Literally, Sarah, no. hold it. No. I don't want to keep nice, gorgeous Texas patch tried to slip under that rock but we're gonna we're still gonna flip this rock i'm curious if there's anybody else home sweet though awesome first snake of the day let's keep looking around that's so funny i was just thinking how good does this rock look i'm gonna need two hands i don't really want to hold it really <laughs> i don't want all right poop on my we're gonna let the snake go for a second, right over here, because I need to lift this rock. Put it on, put it on Luke's arm. Yeah. <laughs> put it in if, your pocket. If only he'd stay there. All right, stay. <laughs> stay. <laughs> right, or not. That's fine. He's hanging out right in this area. He'll know where to go after we head out. Oh. Oh. Nothing. It's a well, good looking rock. <laughs> Let's keep walking around. All right, I just flipped something pretty cool into this little log right here. I think you guys will like it. There he is. Beautiful little juvenile Texas brown tarantula. Awesome. Really cool little find. I haven't seen one in a little while, so. Have not shown one on the channel in a bit. It's very cool. It's given us a little bit of a threat display here. Very beautiful specimen though. Where are you going, buddy? <laughs> Guys, look at the tarantula. All right, I decided to pick up this tarantula for a minute so we could take a closer look. Show you guys just how uh, chill these guys can be. Definitely a pretty little one. He's out and about because it's a nice cool day. Well, I mean, he was hiding under his log, but they can be out from their burrows looking for bugs and whatnot. Want to hold them? I'm okay. okay. Thanks. All right, let's put him back. Here you go, buddy. Go on, get. Get. Thank you for your time. Back in your burrow. Here he goes. He'll find it. Oh. Oh. Got a whole pile of some kind of animal scat right here. There's a lot, I'm not sure what that would be. Maybe coyote or fox. Seems like a lot for a fox scat though. Could see it being maybe like a little pack of coyotes or something. So Ashwin and I are just hiking along a creek right now, trying to find stuff to flip. And I just found a deer antler, a big one too. Look at the size of that thing. That is so cool. I don't think I've ever come across that. I've come across deer skeletons, but not a whole antler. That's, I mean, that thing is huge. What do you think? Should I take it home as a souvenir? I feel like I got it. That is sweet. All right, guys, that's it for me this episode. If you enjoyed this kind of content and you want to see some similar stuff, check this out right here. And if you want to subscribe to the channel for future uploads, click this right here. But I'll see you guys next time.